Greetings, fools! Welcome to another fun-filled holiday episode of The Evil Skeletoys! As I add some new items to my Christmas list! Like Hot Wheels from Mattel! Now, as you can see, Hot Wheels has been scraping the bottom of the barrels for cars lately. This one isn't even a car! It's what I drive that defines me. Sure, but... Just look at these! Garbage! Gah! Oh, bah! Gah! But as I recently walked through my local department store, I was pleasantly surprised to find my face on a car! And some of these other folks! Their names escape me! And do not pay attention to the price tags in this picture! I spaced them out on the shelf to get them all in one picture! Unfortunately, these have a hefty price tag of $5.97 each. There was a peg full of these, but there was only one beast man, so he is perhaps short packed in the case. So, just in case, I decided to bring home myself and beast man. I am not made of local currency and could not afford them all. Plus, this episode wasn't even planned for this week, so I had to make a decision and hope that Dolt Eventainment will reimburse me for my show expenses. Now, I am certain many of you are whining that this is not a Christmas episode, so here's a shot of my new car with some presents. It's like a Christmas episode of The Simpsons when they barely mention Christmas at the start of the episode and it somehow counts as a Christmas special. Or when they play the abominable Snow Rabbit Looney Tunes episode, just because it has snow in it. These Hot Wheels are part of the premium Metal on Metal Real Rider series or something. I suppose that's why they cost about 480% more than the regular Hot Wheels on the blue cards. The card art is also used on other Masters of the Universe items, like the card art on the Masters of the Universe Origins figures. What really sells me on this 70s van is that it is an evil van. Evil! Just look at me, painted on the side. We can park it at the beach next to the van with the lone wolf howling at the moon painted on it. It's fantastic! Beastman's Volkswagen van here gives off a similar vibe, and he regularly howls at the moon anyway. Now let's take a closer look. Insert witty magic spell here! Upon closer inspection, my van is even more evil than I initially thought. Look at that paint job! You can see right in the window. Check out the awesome Masters of the Universe logo on the back. Great looking roof. And the van features me on both sides. What more could one want? The bottom seems to have a couple of years molded into it, so I guess this must be a repaint. You'd think I would deserve my own custom van. But no matter. It also says N46 on the bottom. I don't know what that means. Let me know in the comments below. Now spin, spin, spin those tires, you rubber burning fool! Now... Don't leave me here, Skeletor. Fine. Now get out of the way, you boob. You're not even in focus. Beastman's Volkswagen T1 panel bus is a nice shade of evil blue and features more art suitable to paint on the side of any van. The tinted windows make it harder to peer inside Beastman's van, but I am pretty sure no one wants to be peering inside there anyway. The bottom also has N46 on it. What does that mean? I said let me know in the comments below. Now for the obligatory comparison shot. Here are two vehicles parked next to world's smallest me. If you enjoyed this episode, check Cowabunga. out... <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> Dr. Doom? Yes, it is I, Master of the World. And hospitals. Uh, are you sure you are a real doctor? 
Yes, I am sure. Uh, okay. Why do you get the big bed? Could things possibly get any worse? hey 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 Who wanna hear a great joke? I do. Oh. So, what are you in for? If you enjoyed this episode and think Alan Oppenheimer should have his face on the side of a van, click on his video. And while you are here, watch some of the other videos too. Thanks for watching. Now get out of here. Get me out of here.